the brazooka, the official ball of the 2014 World Cup. The term brazooka actually means a Brazilian way of life. But what do we know about this star of the World Cup? It weighs just 4.37 grams, has a circumference of 69 centimeters, and is made of six thermobonded panels. The ball was made in Pakistan and China. And to get to the field, it's been tested by 30 teams in 10 countries around the world. So what are the distinguishing features of the brazooka? I'm now joined by Simon Chopin of the Sheffield Hallam University. You've really looked at this ball. What makes it so special? Well, that's right. What we've done is we've scanned the surface of this ball and we've really had a look at the seams and what composes this football. Now, it's composed of fewer panels than ever before, six uh, panels which are thermally bonded together. We've looked at the seams, looked at the depth of the seams and looked at the surface of the ball to see how we expect it to behave in the air. And we think that due to its aerodynamic properties, it'll be much more reliable than previous generations. This is Team Guys from Germany 2006. It was called Unpredictable. This is the Jabulani from South Africa 2010. Some called it Supernatural. And this is the Brazooka. So how will this perform at the World Cup in Brazil? Well, if we look at the 2006 World Cup ball, the team guys, we can see just how smooth it is. The seams here are very shallow and there's large areas of smoothness on the panels. We can move across to 2010, the Jabalani. Things have improved a little bit. There, there are more grooves on the ball surface, but still the seams are very, very shallow. Now, footballs need the seams to mix the air um, and create what's called turbulent flow. If we have smooth flow over the surface of the ball, what happens is it can be buffeted about at the kind of speeds that a player will strike the ball. That means it can dip or swerve unpredictably and make it really difficult for the goalkeeper to know what to do. So that's it, they've got the ball and there's only one thing left for them to do. And that is score goals. Peter Quatcher, BBC News. Goal!